Yo ho, me hearties. I'll be coming to you today from varying degrees of camera angle, simply because uh, this will be the last ever twit you'll see in this room. My wondrous, uh, light, faffing flat at uni. Uh, I will only be living in for about another week. Which means that this time, next week, I'll be home and this place will be long gone and but a memory so forgive me if I indulge myself in doing a few things which I feel I need to do before my time is up here as it were like sit on my desk in this awkward position so you can see shelves and stuff behind me after last week's sizeable haul of plastic of all shapes and sizes this week is slightly more meagre uh, but that's not really bothered me at all. I don't actually have anything to talk to you about today. Apart from this Spider-Man I got, who has a bit of a sort of derp-eyed face. If you could see, well, you can probably tell like that. Something ain't right. So, in the light of things like that, it's time to be talking about things which aren't plastic, I think. Time to be talking about things which are more abstract, personal, sort of experience fueled concepts. Because I can't really wave a robot in front of you and go, look what I got this week, isn't it nice? My mega super collaboration is rolling on. It's lost a little bit of steam over the past couple of days, but I'm still getting clips coming in here and there. I think the total is now something like. 14 clips of footage that I've already got so it's definitely rolling on really well so the video side of things on that front is looking pretty darn good I've had some excellent clips come through it's turning out to be a really good sort of mix of different styles and just personalities it's gonna be really good and I, I hope that it will keep chugging along because the last thing I need for this is it just fall flat on its arse and everyone sort of forget about it. But with that said, I can do some sort of self-indulgent stuff that you probably won't want to listen to and just talk about what it means to have been in this room and how I feel about leaving it, I suppose. So when I came here, you can probably look up the this week in TFs that I did of the weekend I got here and oh man, I don't think I've ever been as miserable but things have changed and I've grown to sort of feel like this isn't so much a cell anymore and it's more a sort of little sort of refuge some sort of monastery to some peaceful solitude which I can find here where my flatmates aren't blaring out some sort of hip hop music from there inexplicably wide open doors. I realise that this is the first ever home I've made for myself and the sort of thought of leaving that and just going away and never being able to come back, there is uh, no way I will ever be able to set foot in this room again because someone else will be living here just as I'm the other person who's living here after the person before me. This room will sort of collect a sort of succession of tenants and I can't really tell about anyone else before me but I think a small part of myself is going to be left here simply because of the sort of emotional connections I've just built up with in this little room and of course the amount of videos which will be left on my YouTube page that feature it. It certainly does feel odd, I mean I haven't even lived here for a whole year, it's about seven months, and it really doesn't feel like very long ago that I got here and hated the place and then sort of grew to like it a bit more and then got a bit bored of being here and now I'm sort of enjoying it because I'm realising I've got to make the most of the place and do everything I want to do, so I can't regret not doing something. As such, there'll be a good few, well, I say a good few, it might not be a few, it might only be one, there's only really one figure I'm looking at to review anytime soon because of the fact that 
it's been here since September and I brought it here with the intention of I will review you in the new room. Because in that sort of strange mystical past, I somehow thought that I would have nothing but free time to do reviews. Ha <laughs> ha So there will definitely be one, hopefully, a high class review churned out by me before I leave here. It's an odd feeling, I don't really know what to say this week. I'm just sort of sitting here trying to think of things which I have always been sort of thinking, yes, it's time to sort of say that in a video, but it's not coming to mind. And ting. That's something which I have been wanting to do. I have kept this can since September. You might have seen it in a previous video. And it's just something I wanted to make an in-joke of because amongst my friends, purveying as I do a number of different accents, upon donning a Jamaican one, it's only befitting to end every sentence with and ting. And I just thought, when I got a can of this given to me for free when I moved in here, I thought that was hilarious and I have to use it as some sort of visual gag linked with that, which probably doesn't work very well. Yes, I have kept this empty can of all these months simply for that crap joke. Oh, you know, man, it weren't that bad, and thing. Oh. So I realise I've just been waffling this week and it, it should be time to sort of say goodbye and I'll see you next week, but I don't want to because once I've said that, That'll be it. You won't see anything else from this place again. Well, apart from the review, which I will do. So maybe the best final thing to do is just to give you a little tour and show you my shelves and maybe show you the view out this window, which is constantly a bane to my lighting. There. Isn't that a great view? Mm. All you can see is another vile high-rise and a nice little sliver of horrid inclement sky but aren't you glad I'm showing you? <laughs> sure you are I think this is going to be something that's more for me than anyone else no doubt I will forget this view posters my old biology teacher, who's a Geordie, as you can probably tell. This is the shelf which used to have robots on it until I decided to find out what everything would look like if I'd swapped it round the other day. So now it just has Marvel dudes and DVDs and books and old weird 70s sinister tale. Here is the new bot shelf in all its glory ain't that a sight and there is a view of my camera setup oh well, there you go just before I go, I want to say a quick thank you to all the people who've been subscribing to me over the past week or two I haven't been able to say thank you personally because no one seems to enable comments on their channel page anymore so uh, if there had been the little box I can write in I would have said thank you so, if you're lucky in that respect, then I've already said thank you to you. But thank you to everyone. It, it all means something more, and it's, it's nice to see I'm clocking up, getting closer to 140 subscribers now. That's sort of mind-blowing. So, thank you. But I would also like to take a moment to say thank you to all my previous subscribers, especially the ones who have made the times that I've spent here in this place that weren't quite as good, a hell of a lot better by sending me things or things like that. Thank you everyone. I suppose I'll be toddling on now and ting. Guess I'll see you around chum.